This is Inside an Entrepreneurial Africa. For young learners around the world, education has become a very different experience due to COVID-19. As the pandemic set in and activity in schools ground to a halt, the world of online learning kicked into high gear. I feel like um, remote learning is all about your creativity. So you have to like look out for resources on the internet and apps and people who could explain to you through online platforms. As virtual learning became the new normal, one platform students in Nigeria turned to was a brand new app that had launched only weeks before schools closed down in March of 2020. I got introduced to ULESSON and I've been using it as a more comprehensive version of everything in my textbook. Founded in JOS in Nigeria's Middle Belt, ULESSON started as a personalized learning app providing pre-recorded educational content for secondary school students. Let's proceed to the next. The platform's popularity skyrocketed after lockdown began, with over half a million downloads between March and August of 2020. And their star has only risen from there. Now that you understand the question mark, let's move on to the exclamation mark. The last five, six months, um, we've grown around 300% in terms of number of subscribers, but also the size of the team and the size of the operation. But for founder and CEO of ULESSON, Sim Shagaya, the idea behind the tutoring service came long before the recent demand. I think the biggest, most profound foundational challenges we face around the world, but I think more acutely in this part of the world, is education. So I've been thinking for a long time as to how we can apply digital technologies to education. Shagaya is something of a veteran in the world of digital startups. After leading Google in Africa from 2006 to 2007, he launched a number of websites. Then struck gold in 2012 with online marketplace Conga, which became one of Africa's largest e-commerce sites. But with ULESSON, the enterprising entrepreneur believes he's found his true calling. I've never had a deeper sense of mission and purpose as I do now. I don't want to sound too dramatic, but you lesson and everything it represents for me is the most important work I will, I will ever do. Action. A year ago, we were providing these really rich pre-recorded lessons to learners from primarily in high school. But since then, we've broadened our services dramatically. We'd like to think of ourselves as serving the entire K-12 spectrum. Right now, we have content and we have resources that serve students from grades 4 up until 12. So let's get started. They've also made what the team considers to be bold decisions that they say are paying off. Internet costs are dropping rapidly and we've made a bet on that to move to a full streaming model, which means that all of the content is now consumed entirely online. The next one, I would say, was the de decision to um, open up physical learning centers. When you consider the African environment, there's still a group of people who would only be able to access ULESSON outside of their homes. The physical learning centers provide power, internet, devices, and are of course powered by the ULESSON content. Hi guys. And all of these offerings are conceived, developed, and produced in-house. The decision to create our content internally was a very deliberate one and we did this to ensure that we were able to be as innovative as was required. We have a team of illustrators, we have a team of animators, subject matter experts and script writers that come together to pull these resources and create content in a way that is engaging and useful for our learners. ULESSON is also experiencing geographical growth. A year ago, we were primarily operating in Nigeria and Ghana, and now a year later, we have uh, learners from countries like Sierra Leone, Liberia, Gambia, Eastern Africa, including Uganda and Kenya. And we are now just starting to expand into South Africa. So it's been a really, really busy year. While his platform may have benefited from the current demand, Shagaya sees technology continuing to drive the future of education. 
And so what COVID-19 has done is shown us, look, there's another way, way where things might actually be better, where kids can learn in a personalized manner and everybody proceeds at their own pace. What we're really aspiring to be is be that sort of teacher that stands behind you, making sure you improve, getting the best grades, truly, genuinely understanding and mastering concepts and creating the future demographic or creative workforce for Africa.